the turnout was better tonight, but Keith made a good point actually to, to uh, Michael Taylor. You know, the doctors aren't here unfortunately, and the, the public outside of the family has not really come out in force yet. What do you have to do to get that, uh, that energy going? Um, actually, it's just continue. You know, we've had a lot of media coverage, which I thank you very much. Uh, we also, uh, it's getting people, it's phoning people, it's getting the families involved, and it's that personal contact. It, the postcards are really helpful because you're talking to people one on one. In those terms, um, calling people and, and reaching out to them, what are you hearing? Uh, is there, I mean, outside of the families and outside of your, um, you know, your family within the psychiatric hospital, is there that? that um, public um, support, are, are you feeling that or, or is it just within those families? I am, I am feeling the uh, public support um, because of my position as president at, at the local of OPSU. I also get a lot of information out to Toronto as well to, to um, the, the other members of psychiatric hospitals, uh, presidents and that as well. Um, the support is rampant. I mean, we've got people that are willing to campaign to get people um, back on board with, with, it's about the community. It's about, it's about us, it's about the community, and it's about uh, the support uh, of our health care. Have you participated at all in the ombudsman process, or the pro process of presenting information to the ombudsman for him to decide, or his office to decide to go forward with a thorough investigation? I did not participate in the ombudsman piece. I was on the uh, with the Chamber of Commerce and City Council. I was the uh, union representative uh, at the at that time. What do you think about that avenue then? Oh, them pursuing that avenue. Something had to be done. I mean, it, it felt like it would probably go nowhere. But we've got to make um, Minick Smith and and the public aware. And I think that was the beginning of a good process. And earlier tonight, you talked about being scared, um, kind of not knowing what was going on. How has that impacted you and your co-workers in delivering service for those uh, patients? The morale at the hospital is really low right now. Um, and there is a lot of uncertainties. They're, they're really frightened about job loss. They're frustrated that they're not getting um, adequate answers. Um, it, it impacts me quite a lot because I talk to um, the staff members on a regular basis um, s several times a day. Uh, I'm constantly bombarded with questions about um, the patients and, and what's going to happen to them, what's going to happen to their jobs. 